Good evening. Campaigners fighting to save Wantage Community Hospital say if it closes down permanently, it will stop the growth of the town and be a devastating blow to the community. At a meeting last night, the NHS Trust agreed to hold a public consultation before making a final decision on its future. The hospital is due to close temporarily in the next couple of months for urgent work to remove Legionella from the water system. It's feared the closure will be permanent. Peter Cook reports. New mum Kelly still getting used to life with six-week-old Sebastian. And like these other young mothers, she says Wantage Community Hospital has played an important role in supporting her. Our first encounter with the midwives as a pregnant woman happens at sort of eight weeks. Um, and then they follow you throughout your pregnancy um, during the birth if you have them at Wantage and then care um, when you come out of hospital um, as I did um, providing help with um, breastfeeding or how to bath your baby. But the site is due to close in early summer after raised levels of Legionella bacteria were detected in its hot water system. And with drainage repairs set to cost half a million pounds it could mean the trust in charge decide to shut it for good. We do feel, I think, a little bit like we are being left behind a little bit. So things are becoming much more centralised. We're being expected to move, um, to move ourselves closer. The local community has been consulted before any final decision is made, and they voiced their concerns at a meeting last night. This town is expanding extraordinarily, and we're going to lose our local hospital. It's, it's just a terrible decision. To have to go to somewhere like into Oxford or to Wallingford is almost impossible for lots of our people who live here. They, not everybody has a car. When you close something down, it doesn't matter how you say the word, moth or whatever, it will never open again. Thousands across the area have signed a petition to keep the hospital open. But when the next wantage baby boom comes along, it could mean a trip further afield for patients and mums alike. Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust, which runs this site, says that new and expectant mothers will still have the support of a local midwifery team and for any deliveries they can either use their home or special units in Oxford and Wallingford. Peter Cook, BBC South Today.